What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So we are mere hours away from the Goku and Frieza Dual Dokkan Fest from dropping on both versions of the game and I want to take this opportunity to quickly talk about the units themselves as well as their potential banners so that all of you have all the information you need before jumping in. Now before anyone asks, I know a lot of you are going to be super curious about when exactly the banners will be here because I know that a lot of people thought it would be last night based on some information that was out there, but of course, it's not here yet. Based on what I've been told though, there will be a maintenance that starts at 2.30pm Eastern Standard Time tonight, or this afternoon, and it will end at 4.30pm Eastern Standard Time, at which time when we jump into the game, when we log in, we should be able to see the banners. Of course, this is just a bit of a buffer period to make sure that nobody, you know, the servers don't crash when everybody jumps in at once, so people could very well be let in before the 4.30pm start time but that's all the information i have for you right now i don't know if it's 100 percent accurate but that's just all i know so you know we'll just have to see we'll just have to wait and see but why don't we jump in to the info now we'll start with the agl goku and then move on to the frieza and then uh just wait patiently for the banners to actually come here so starting with the goku in his tur form his name is boiling power super saiyan goku he is a super type leader he gives super class allies he plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. So basically, he is Tech Vegito Blue, but without the type restriction where you have to have all 5 attributes on your team. So basically, uh, quite a bit better, a lot more versatile in terms of what teams you can build with him. So super, super exciting. Now, super attack is Kamehameha. He raises attack and defense every time he supers and causes immense damage to the enemy. His passive skill, by the way, the attack and defense uh, increase is a 20% boost. For anyone who's curious and his passive is super saiyan for starters attack and defense plus 80 percent reduces damage received by 21 percent and transforms when conditions are met so the condition literally is just for the next turn to occur so whenever he comes back he will transform with each passing turn his links are all in the family golden warrior experienced fighter super saiyan kamehameha prepare for battle and fierce battle and he has four different categories realm of gods super saiyan 3 pure saiyans and full power so a lot of great categories to run him on now let's well you know what he has a lot of transformations i'm not going to talk about the stats and all the skills for each transformation because you know they change a little bit each time so what i'm going to talk about is just their their first form and then their final transformation but basically goku transformed from super saiyan 1 which is his base to super saiyan 2 super saiyan 3 super saiyan god and then on the fifth turn he comes back he will be super saiyan blue and at the Super Saiyan Blue state, his super attack will change to Grudgeless Strike. It looks freaking awesome, by the way. If you guys haven't seen the super attack animation yet, I implore you to go check it out. All the other attack, super attack animations, I know there are a lot of people that are complaining about them because they're a little bit lame. You know, they're just very standard uh, super attacks, things we've seen already. But the new, like the final state, the Super Saiyan Blue super attack is absolutely amazing. Same thing with the Golden Frieza. And yeah, just go check it out. Just go check it out. Now, I was going, let's go back to the, the blue form now. Super attack causes immense damage with a great chance to stun the enemy. His passive is now attack plus 120% and he reduces damage received by 25%. He plus 12, he plus 12, so guaranteed super attack and performs a critical hit. Um, oh, I guess it's only once. That's, that's what it says here, at least on the DBZ Dokkan Battle Wiki. I, you know, nothing I've seen here has ever been wrong, so... You know, this is news to me, but basically he gets key plus 12 and performs a critical attack guaranteed, but the critical hit will only be a one-time thing, according to this one at least. Now, Link skills. Godly power, warrior gods, shocking speed, super saiyan, all in the family, over in a flash and fierce battle. As you can see, his links do change from every form. Um, so now he gets fierce uh, over, over in a flash when he didn't have that in the beginning. And uh, of course, categories stay the same. And yeah, everything else should be should be the same as the original like Super Saiyan form. All right, so that is Goku. He is a super type leader, 120% lead, and he's gonna be freaking awesome. So he is gonna be very very strong in all these categories that I named: Realm of God, Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, and of course a super type team as well, and also Super AGL. So if you guys can build any of those teams, then he is definitely worth dropping some stones for. You guys might have noticed that I actually didn't call this video a should you summon, which I normally do, because I already mentioned that I want, like I already mentioned in my original video where the banners leaked, that they are 100% 
must summon banners because they are going to be so damn fire. And you guys, if you haven't seen the original video I made about the banners, then you'll see exactly what I mean when I get to them in a second. But let's go over to the Frieza now. And Frieza starts off in his first form, Glacial Prestige Frieza. He is a tech type unit. He is an extreme class leader. So basically the other side, like, like Goku's super, you know, uh, Frieza is extreme. He gives extreme class allies key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Basically, STR Rose, but without the restriction again, so much more versatile of a leader. His super attack is Death Beam, raises attack and defense, which is 20% uh, again and causes immense damage to the enemy. His passive is attack and defense plus 80%, recovers 11% HP at the start of turn, so a very, very good healer, and transforms when conditions are met, which is just the next attacking turn for Frieza. His link skills are strongest clan in space, universe's most malevolent, uh, metamorphosis, big bad bosses, thirst for conquest, fierce, uh, fear and faith, and fierce battle. And his categories, he has three resurrected warriors, movie bosses, and full power full power as well. So both Goku and Frieza can fit on a full power category. Something to keep in mind if you have SSJ4 full power Goku on JP. And of course he goes from first form to second form to third form and then eventually, uh, oh also final form of course. And last but not least ends up at golden Frieza form. And in his golden Frieza form he now has uh, immense damage and a great chance to stun the en enemy on his passive. He has 120% attack on his passive, recovers 15% HP at the start of the turn, so the same recovery or the same healing passive as LR Goku Black. It's freaking crazy. And he also gets 12 key and performs a critical hit only once, so one time guaranteed critical hit on his first attack after transformation. His links are um, strongest in the clan, strongest clan in space, universe's most levelant prodigies. Big bad bosses, thirst for conquest, shocking speed, and fierce battle. And of course, same categories, everything else is pretty much the same. And also, oh, another thing I wanted to mention is that great chance to stun the enemy on his super attack is a 70% chance. So, you know how Khalifla has a great chance to dodge? She, like, and she dodges dodge like a crazy amount, right? She's like always dodging. Basically, Frieza is going to be stunning, well, any enemy that can be stunned at least, a crap ton of time. So, yeah, uh, really, really strong cards overall, of course, if you guys can make Resurrected Warriors teams or Movie Bosses teams or Full Power teams or um, a Extreme Tech team or Extreme team overall, then definitely, definitely, you know, go for him as well. Like I said, these two guys are both must summons, but to be even a little bit more convincing, if you aren't convinced yet just by these cards alone, let's talk about their banners. And all we have right now are the leaked SSRs that will be featured on the JP version. I expect Global to be similar with a few minor tweaks, and I'll get to them in a second, but why don't we start with the JP banner SSRs that were leaked for the Goku banner. And for the Goku banner, uh, we have the new Goku, of course. We have a new physical Goku, he's going to be a super physical lead. It's more of a filler unit, but uh, still pretty strong overall. I'm not going to talk exactly about what he does, but he is a strong unit. Um, and of course, we have the other featured SSRs that were that we you know already had in the game, and they are really really good, guys. So on JP, they will have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, literally one of the leaders of one of the best categories in the game. We have Tech Vegeta Blue, the original 120 ex uh, Super Lead. We have Ultra Instinct Goku, and you know that's just hype because. It's freaking Ultra Instinct Goku. There's not much more to say about it. People just love themselves. Some Ultra Instinct Goku. I know I love me some Ultra Instinct Goku. So that's awesome that he's on the banner. We have uh, it's SSJ3 Angel Goku, the tech 120% super lead. And he is an awesome unit. Of course, a little bit less hype than the other guys because he's not a category lead. But a really, really good unit as well, especially if you need dupes or you just don't have him, him at all. Then you'd be lucky to pick him up on this banner. And also, um, Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken Goku, the AGL one. Or is there only one? I think there might be only one in the game. So, this AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken Goku. Another great unit. Of course, a little bit older. Not as strong as the other ones. But a good unit to have, especially if you haven't pulled him yet. So, that is the Goku banner. The changes that I expect to make. Well, like I said, I expect them to be similar on Global. I think the only thing they'll change is the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. They'll keep everything else the same. Because Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta 
isn't on global yet. He hasn't had his Dokkan Fest, so he has to have his own individual Dokkan Fest before it can be made available on a separate banner like this. Um, so he's not going to be there, like 100% he's not, because we would have gotten a data download if they wanted to surprise us and drop him uh, into the game for the banner. So no Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. I expect him to be replaced with Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, because as you can, as you guys, some of you probably know, um, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock was on the JP 250 million downloads banner, but he wasn't on Global's 250 million downloads banner. I think the reason that they left him off there on purpose is so that he can be a little bit more hype when he is introduced on the Goku banner, so I expect him to be replaced for Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Of course, all speculation, so I could be off there. Now, moving on to the Frieza banner, he has, uh, well, this banner has the new Frieza. It also has another Extreme Strength Frieza, very similar to the Goku, uh, the new, the physical Goku that was on the Goku banner. Um, so more of a filler, but still a solid, solid unit. You'd be, you know, it's, you should still be happy to pull him, even if you weren't going for him, because I think you know most people are going for the new Tech Frieza in the AGL Goku. But the other fillers are AGL. Turles, the leader of the movie bosses category, and a phenomenal unit, phenomenal, phenomenal unit, the best support unit in the game. We have STR Super Goku Black Rose, freak oh, amazing unit, of course, again. Um, I personally don't have him, so I'm really, really excited for him to make his return on Global. We have Int Golden Frieza, Angel Golden Frieza, the leader of the Resurrected Warriors category. We have Physical Super, uh, no, Physical Super. Um, what I'm trying to say, Cooler, Final Form Cooler, the 120% Extreme Physical Lead. I personally believe he is the best Extreme 120 Lead, and it's just an amazing unit overall. Don't sleep on him, he is really, really good. And of course we have Tech Golden Frieza, which is the best Golden Frieza next to Angel Golden Frieza, so um, he tanks really hard. He hits quite hard as well on a Resurrected Warriors team, especially linked up with Angel Golden Frieza. And if you don't have him Rainbow, then he'll be a good pull for you. So that is the banner for the Frieza, the thing that I see them changing on Global is probably the Turles because I don't see them bringing back Turles so soon, especially because Turles was literally the last Dokkan Fest. So I don't know, um, they could exchange him for another extreme type lead. I don't really have one in mind right now, but it will be a category lead. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think they'll replace Turles with. There's also some people saying that they could keep Turles on there as well because there is precedent from the past where they did keep a new unit on a like basically there was a there was a Dokkan Fest for a new unit and then there was another like celebration that happened after and they actually put that Dokkan Fest unit that was recent into the celebration banner. So there is a chance that they could keep Turles here, but if not, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think they will replace Turles with. I'm not really sure right now and uh, I don't want to throw like random things out there <laughs> and be wrong. I'm like a fairly certain with the SSJ3 Bardock on the Goku banner, but this one a little bit less sure. So. Not gonna say anything about that, but that, those are the banners, guys. And of course, there's another thing to keep in mind is that Global for these dual Dokkan Fest usually gets tickets for doing multis. Um, of course, there will be also step ups. So in the beginning, I'm, I'm, I'm predicting some, it's gonna be like, I don't know, 30 stones for three multis, or maybe like 10, 20, 40 for the first three multis, or first three summons. And then after, it's gonna be uh, regular, well, not regular, but like, you know, three plus one multis where you do three full price multis plus one free one as the fourth multi. Um, but aside from that, tickets, right? Tickets. I think that Global at the very least will get summoning tickets for these specific banners um, when they do multis after the fourth or third or fourth step where they're doing the regular price multis. And then for JP, it's going to be a little bit more iffy because JP isn't known for getting these tickets for dual dual confets. But because both are happening at the same time, um, to not piss off JP players, I could see them doing it just because. But I don't know. At least, at least for Global. I think at the very least for Global, there's a high chance we'll get tickets for doing multi. So basically, more chances to pull each of the uh, Goku and Frieza that we want. But that's all the information I have for you guys today. The units are awesome. The banners are lit. And I just I haven't been this excited for a dual Dokkan Fest or a Dokkan Fest in general to drop in this game for a long, long time. Hope you guys are excited as well. If you guys are interested in my personal opinion, my personal preference about which banner I'm more excited about, both, right? Both are very, very, very hyped for me because they both have extremely good units that I need. But the Frieza banner definitely is a little bit, like just like tiny bit more for me because I really want both Frieza 
and uh, Rose. So those two versus, you know, potentially Bardock on the Goku banner. But if Bardock is not there, then the Goku, then the Frieza one will be way, way more hype. But if Bardock is on the Goku banner, that's going to be a little bit more even because obviously I want the Goku as well. But yeah, right now, just currently from what I know, Frieza is like slightly, slightly higher. But that's it guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about who Turles will be replaced with, as well as which banner you're more excited about, which one you plan to summon on, Goku, Frieza, or both. But that's going to do it for the video, hope you guys found it useful, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.